Hi guys, it's Chris. Um, I'm going to be doing things a little differently tonight, and I will explain why. Um, I am going to, I think from now on, the format of my videos are going to be a little different. As far as the first couple minutes, I'm going to do a quick synopsis of what I've received. Um, and then, so you guys can all get to see my goodies and stuff like that. And then, if you want to continue on with the video, then I'm going to give a more detailed review, like I'm going to do my sent descriptions and that kind of stuff. Um, in the beginning, I'm just going to kind of show you what I got and my first impression, like, on Cold Sniff, like, oh yeah, this is for me, or no, that's not for me. Um, that way, you know, for people who don't, like, love, you know, lo really long videos, um, then you don't have to stick around. You know, you kind of get the the condensed version. Um, but for those of you that love my videos or want, you know, more detail, then stick around and you'll get more of those. So, more of that. So I'm just kind of testing it out. Um, I'm testing out this first, this first um, thing, this first, what you call it, thing, this first trial video, I guess you would say, um, from a vendor that I'm really excited about. I have only received a few um, pieces in these stashes um, from this vendor and very popular vendor. This is Beau Savon Fraise. I know my French is horrible, so that's probably <laughs> not even right. But the owner is Lacey Williams. This is her card. Um, towards the end of the video, I will tell you more about her products in her shop because she has bath, body, home fragrances, and all that kind of stuff. Um, but of course, I will always... Um, link below like I always do but I just figured this was a good way of you know so people can go oh yeah okay she recommends that that sounds great I'll put that on my list or whatever or if you know you're like me and you kind of really need a scent description it'll my videos will still entail those so you know when you look at the video firsthand you're gonna go wow this is a long video but I'm cutting it kind of into sections so like I said, you get the brief synopsis, and then if you want, you know, the scent descriptions and all that kind of stuff, so you don't have to look them up yourself, that's why I do them, um, then you'll get the more detailed, you know, towards the end, and I will tell you more about the shop um, towards the end of the video. But anyway, so um, Lacey was giving out, not giving out, she was um, offering, I'll show you her card again so you can see it, she was offering in her Facebook group, a handful of D stashes. Um, so you pay for the D stash and she sends out the product and she tells you, I think she told us how much, you know, was in it, you know, how many ounces per se or whatever. And then we purchased and I was one of the lucky people to, I think she had like six of these and I was one of the lucky people to comment and purchase. So, um, and with saying that I want everybody to know that I did purchase this, these items. So if you ever see any of these items in a D stash, they were purchased um, by me. So um, first of all, when I got this box, it's so cute and it's actually really heavy. So cute. Can you see little stars there? It's like little star confetti, which is so adorable. It's like all over my couch right now, but it's just too cute. Like if it was glitter, I'd probably go, oh God, no. But um, it's not. So and to match her her business cards, look at she's got the zebra print, and then she gives you a little candy that has a zebra print too. So that's so, so cute. That's just such a nice touch. So getting into this box, I haven't even opened this yet, guys. So I'm the first. I'm trying not to get any more of these stars all over the place. So I am the first, as well as you, or trying to move them to the bottom. Um, these are obviously going to have to cure because these were handmade on 729, so it will cure. But these all look like they're chunks. This one is in Strawberry Vanilla Bean Noel Overpour. So, Overpour is like, um, for people that don't know, they'll make a, um... A chunk 
And the embeds, like the strawberry bread and the embeds would kind of be, you know, the, um, the main set. And then there's an old rapport. Uh, you probably won't be able to see it, but on the embeds, some of the embeds are like, a little have like a little film over them or, or whatever you can see it in this front one right here that's an overpour so then they'll take the overpour um, of the vanilla bean noel in this case and just kind of pour the wax over the loaf and then they'll you know slice it into chunks so that's what overpour means for people who don't know um, I personally don't know how much scent an overpour actually gives because I don't know because I haven't really bought a lot of chunks but anyway so this was, I'll show you the label, so cute, she has these little zebras and then they have the BSF on the, you know, in a little heart, and see they all say handmade on 729.13, this again was strawberry bread vanilla bean noel overpour, so the main scent is going to be strawberry bread, I'm assuming, oh this is so pretty, and the embeds you can see go all the way to the bottom, cute is that um and i love strawberry bread so i'm looking forward to this i'm not like a huge bakery person but oh yeah this is this is really nice this is just like a nice oh, nice fresh baked bread oh, this is really nice with like a strawberry overtone or whatever um so I will read you the scent description of that later. This one is see if you can see that. Focus. This is sweet lolly. So I'm assuming this is like a lollipop fragrance. This is really cute too. This is a um a purple and white, it looks like. Oh, these chunks are so nice. And it looks like you could definitely get two, you can see the size of the chunk, you could definitely get at least two um, out of these uses. So this I think was like $46 I think or something like that. It was definitely worth it. Oh, this smells just like a lollipop. Oh. Yes, this is definitely a keeper too. Um, let's see. So next we have, oops. oh, here's another one in Sweet Lolly. Um, I wasn't aware that there was going to be duplicates in there, but hey, that's fine. Like I said, I don't have, you know, anything from this vendor, um, so, except for a couple pieces, so that's cool. Um, and then, of course, I can always share, which I love to do. Oh, again, just really, really nice. I'm getting kind of like a grape, like a grape lollipop, but that's really awesome. Then she did say there was a couple, um, oh, some of these names, man. Um, a couple of the D stashes were unmarked like they were just mystery over pores and that's kind of what I've received in these stashes so you don't know what the scent is um but I chose to go with the ones that have the scents on them just because you know me um I need to have my scents and my scent descriptions this one is in this is another strawberry bread but this is in strawberry bread coconut craze over pour so think strawberry bread and coconut like oh my god I don't know if you can see, if you can see the overpour, if you can see the, I really want you guys to like know what I'm talking about. Okay. If you look over here, you see the white, like this is more red and this, these chunks over here are more red and you see the white. Well, that's the overpour that they pour over the um, chunks. So I love strawberry bread. I really do. Um, I've received it from a couple different vendors, and it's just so great because it's not like a sickeningly sweet, like sweet confection kind of thing. See, I was saying I wasn't sure about the overpour because, like, do you really smell it? You do smell it in this one. 
Oh, you definitely, yeah, I can definitely smell the coconut in here. Oh, this is nice. Oh, I like it. I like it. I like it. And she mostly does for the most part. Like, Lolly was a sweet, or Sweet Lolly was a, obviously a sweet lollipop scent. But this is another strawberry bread vanilla bean overpour. So I'm not going to open that one again. Um, wow, she chopped. She really filled this box, you guys. This one is just regular Vanilla Bean Noel. Oh, come on, focus. Vanilla Bean Noel. And there, it's red and white, you know, white with red um, embeds. And now Vanilla Bean Noel, somebody can, like, tell me if I'm wrong, but I believe Vanilla Bean Noel is like a vanilla bean. And Noelle, I think, is like a creamy, like almost caramel caramel kind of scent. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm catching. Noelle is kind of like a caramel, buttery caramel scent. This is nice. Because I'm not really a big vanilla person. Ooh, but this is really, really nice. I am so excited about this, you guys, because I really... I know a lot of people love BSF, and I know a lot of people like really want BSF, and... I get kind of sad because when I do my D stashes, people are like, oh, do you have any BSF? And I'm like, oh, no, I don't. Like, you know, I feel bad. I mean, I did send out a D stash today um, where I shared some that I had. But, and this is another strawberry bread coconut craze overpour. This one was handmade on 725. So some, some of them are 25th and some of them of them are the 20th. Ninth, so but either way, you know, I would I would let these cure for like at least a couple weeks. I I usually cure for a month. So um, here's another vanilla bean Noel coconut craze overpour. Uh, I'm putting these to the side just so everybody can see. Now this is a carnival vanilla ice cream overpour. So the only thing that confuses me is, okay, is Carnival the scent and Vanilla Ice Cream is the overpour? That's what I'm assuming. Or is it Carnival Vanilla and then Ice Cream is the overpour? I think Carnival is the main scent and Vanilla Ice Cream is the overpour. So this one is just white. Like, this is just a, a white block. There's no, like, um, if there's in beds, I can't see them. Oh, you know what? I think there's some yellow. It's white and yellow, so it's, like, really hard to see. Ooh, this is really nice, too. This almost reminds me of, like, a candy corn. Or, like, those circus peanuts. Oh, that's really nice. But I'll be able to tell you more when I get into the scent descriptions what these are. But, like I said, if you don't want to stick around for that part, that's cool, too. Um... And then I got another Carnival Vanilla Ice Cream Overpour. I'm trying to keep these together so I know. Oh my god, this box is so full. And this is a Strawberry Rhubarb Pie Vanilla Ice Cream Overpour. If you can see that there. Strawberry Rhubarb, rhubarb Pie Vanilla Ice Cream Overpour. So, and this is pink and white. So you can, you can see the pink embeds there. Wow, my camera is behaving so well for me tonight. I wish I had some wood to knock on. That's like, I can knock on my computer table, but that's kind of press board. Does that constitute as wood? I don't know. For all intents and purposes for this video, we'll say yes, it does. So what did I say this was? Strawberry rhubarb pie vanilla ice cream over four. Ooh, I really like this one. Um, definitely you can smell the strawberry. This is more of like a fresh strawberry. The other one's kind of, um, not the strawberry bread, but the strawberry bread was a little sweeter. This almost has like a, the rhubarb, like I've never had strawberry rhubarb, so I don't really know what it smells like, but it's almost got like a, like a zest to it or a tang of some sort to it. Ooh. Very nice. And like I said, I have not melted any BSF yet because, like I said, I've only gotten a few cubes and D stashes. Um, a lot I have 
given away, whether it's random act of kindness boxes or um, I just gave some away in a D stash. This is another Carnival Vanilla Ice Cream Pour um, chunk. So like I said, I'm not going to show you the extras. Okay, this one is the Sweet Lolly that we had. This is the beautiful purple and white. And it's Sweet Lolly Coconut Craze Over Pour. So that's really cool. So you're not only going to get the Sweet Lolly scent, which is like grape. Well, it smelled kind of grapey to me. Um, you're going to get... Yeah, you're going to get the coconut. That's really cool. So this one I think I like even better than just the regular Sweet Lolly because the, the coconut kind of tones the, the sweetness down a little bit. Ooh, I really, really, really like it, though. You know, um, um, Lacey does such a great job on these. It's just so amazing. Um... The only thing that, that's hard is that um, I noticed when I was trying to um, de-stash and do random acts of kindness, this is another Sweet Lolly Coconut Craze overpour, um, is that the wax is very soft. I mean, not like super duper, because, you know, like, but when I tried to, like, cut it, well, of course, it was in, from D stashes too. So you always get different. Here's another vanilla bean Noel. Um, I'm sorry, guys, if I'm out of frame. I'm just looking. I'm trying to keep these together. Vanilla bean Noel, where are you? There you are. Okay. I'm just trying to keep these together. Um, when you do D stashes too, it's like you don't really know how many people it has gone to. So it's kind of hard. So the bag the stuff was kind of like mushy in the bag so then I put it in the freezer and I or in the refrigerator and tried to harden it up and then cut it and I almost chopped my finger off with one of those you know cutters um because <laughs> it was then it was too hard so then I had to let it sit out for a little bit but anyway this is a vanilla bean noel coconut craze over pour do I have one of those yet yes I do I now have wait that's strawberry bread coconut wait this is strawberry bread coconut over pour this is strawberry bread coconut over pour oh my lord this is noel bean coconut over pour okay it's hard to try and keep these all together here and here's another vanilla bean noel um let's see this is another sweet lolly Craze Coconut Over Pour. This one is a Pink Strawberry Bread Vanilla Ice Cream Over Pour. So these, there's duplicates in here. So it looks like... It looks like maybe she gave three of each. Just by looking in my box here. Sweet Lolly Coconut Craze Over Pour. Oh, actually, I have four of those, which I'm not complaining because I really do like that one. Um, this is pink, pink strawberry bread vanilla ice cream over pour. Oh, wait, because there's vanilla bean. And then there's, oh, wait a minute. This is pink strawberry bread vanilla ice cream over pour. I'm sorry. That one's a little different because the... She gave me a strawberry bread vanilla bean Noel overpour. And I got that confused with pink strawberry bread vanilla ice cream overpour. Can you see where I can get a little confused? Now, this one's nice. Um, I, I would say, like, right now, this is the, my least favorite. I'm not a huge pink person. And that's mostly what I'm catching in this. So the pink strawberry bread is vanilla ice cream over pour so far is my least favorite. Not to say I don't like it because I do. I'm just kind of over the whole pink thing, you know. I'm just not really 
I don't know. So you guys may find that in a giveaway or a random act of kindness bag. Um, here's another sweet lolly. I mean, just look at these. They're so cute. They really, really, really are. This is a straight up sweet lolly. So that one would go here. Let's see, this one is strawberry bread vanilla Noel overpour. Okay, this one is carnival vanilla ice cream overpour, and this one is carnival vanilla ice cream overpour. Okay, so what I received was okay. All right, so I received three chunks of the sweet lolly. One, two, three, four chunks of the sweet lolly with the coconut craze overpour. One, two, three chunks of the vanilla bean Noel. One, two, three chunks of the strawberry bread vanilla bean Noel overpour. Two chunks of the pink strawberry bread vanilla ice cream overpour. <laughs> um, one, two, three, four, five chunks of the carnival vanilla ice cream overpour. Two chunks of vanilla bean coconut craze overpour. Two chunks of strawberry bread coconut craze overpour. And then one chunk of strawberry rhubarb pie vanilla ice cream overpour. And I think this one was one of my favorites. So, of course, I only received one. So I may not be sharing this one, guys. But... I have a lot of the others to share. So now what I'm going to do, so that's the end of my short part of the video. So now what I'm going to do is I am going to go to her page and look up some of these scents, if I can find them. Um, so Vanilla Bean Noel, she separates by category, like spa, floral, fresh, um, Lush dupes, um, Bath and Body Work dupes, Staple scents. Um, let's see what else. Fruity, sweet, and tropical. Um, I think that is that the last category. Nope, little kitchen candles. BSF blends, which, you know, people blend stuff together or whatever. I can see, I see some here that I could really get into. Um, okay, so they are in alphabetical order, but they are, no, they're not in alphabetical order. Okay, so this is going to make this a little difficult. Oh, and then they have designer dupes which are more of like your cologne types. They have Yankee dupes. Um, and they have bake she has bakery. I would prefer, to be honest with you, I, I mean, I like this idea in theory of um, splitting them up like this. But when you're looking for a particular scent, it makes it really hard. She has body shop dupes. She has Victoria's Secret dupes. Other fun fragrances. I mean, she just has so many um, categories. It's really, really hard to um, to find your scent. But it is good. Like if you haven't, you know, if you're not a bakery person, if you're more of like a fruity person, then you can just go right to that one. Um, so that's cool. So, I'm going to start off with Vanilla Bean Noel, um, which everybody probably already knows what that smells like. Okay, so Vanilla Bean Noel is a rich, sweet vanilla sugar cookie with a slight roasted marshmallow background and a hint of caramel. So again, I got the vanilla and I got the caramel. So... Um, I will now tell you 
I guess this is a Bath and Body Works scent. Okay, so yes, I definitely smell the vanilla sugar cookie. And I definitely get a hint of caramel. Am I smelling roasted marshmallow background? I'm not too sure. Um, but again, this needs to cure. So for the most part, this is spot on. This is the vanilla bean Noel. So I'm going to put these back in the box. Back in the box. What movie was that from? You guys can tell me. Back in the box. If you guys can tell me what movie that was from, I'll send you a little gifty gift. First person to comment below. First person to comment below who can say, tell me where. Back in the box. What movie that was from. I will give you a little uh, gifty gift. Um from my stash that I have paid for. Um, let me see. Next is Sweet Lolly. I think I'm going to look these, have to look these up separate. Well, I don't, maybe I'm not. I don't know. I'll type them in and see if they come up as blends. I don't know. Let's see. Sweet Lolly. Oops. I spelled Loki. That's like, what is that? Like a Scandinavian god of some sort. Sweet Lolly. Um, coconut. Nope. Okay. So that's not going to. Okay. So Sweet Lolly. It says, this smells exactly like candy suckers. So sweet and so strong on in parasoy tarts. So again, this smelled to me. Like candy suckers is another name for a lollipop. Smelled like, you know, a grape, more like, like a grape lollipop to me. And then the coconut craze. Oops, I can't even spell tonight. If I could spell. Okay, so coconut craze is notes of lemon, orange, pineapple, and lime. Rind, rounded out with middle notes of caramel and coconut with base notes of buttercream, coconut milk, vanilla bean, and musk. Now, I would have loved this even better if she reversed it. So instead of it being the sweet lolly with the coconut craze overpour, if it was the coconut craze with the sweet lolly overpour, because mostly I'm getting just the lolly. Um, and I would love more of the coconut craze. But, when you order from her, you can request. So say, you know, I place another order from her. I can say, okay, I would like. Oh, I do get the lemon and the orange and the pineapple in this too. This is a really good mix, you guys, to be honest with you. The sweet lolly coconut craze. It really is. I'm not getting really any buttercream, which is fine because I don't really like buttercream. I'm not getting caramel. Um, or the musk or anything like that, but I definitely am getting the lemon, lime, orange, po you know, pineapple, you know, the grapey kind of scent or whatever. But say I wanted, like I said, to switch this and I wanted more of the coconut craze over pour. I could say, okay, you know, Lacey, I want a coconut craze, a bag of, of chunks in the coconut craze with a sweet lolly overpour. So I, you can kind of like make up your own stuff, which is really good. Um, one of the reasons also too that I had not tried BSF um, before was because um, I'm not a good mixer. Like, you know, I'm not really good at it. I just don't really do it all that well. Like, I don't know what to mix with mix. I get with what, you know, mix what with what. I get too overwhelmed. But this is the strawberry bread and vanilla bean overpour. So let me see what her strawberry bread. Okay, this is one of her staple scents. So I guess she probably sells a lot of these. Um, so I don't know if this is going to come up. Okay, strawberry bread. Fresh, juicy strawberry blended with a tiny hint of spice 
rich, creamy, sweet vanilla, and a heaping helping of bakery goodness. Top notes of sweet fruits, middle notes of strawberry and spice, bottom notes of sweet vanilla and bakery notes. So that's the strawberry bread part. And again, the vanilla bean Noel part is, again, the vanilla and the caramel. So... Yeah, this is a very fresh, juicy strawberry. Um, and you know what? I'm not getting a ton of vanilla, like, right now. I'm not getting any spice. This is, I would not describe this as a, as a spicy bakery. This is definitely a more of a sweet bakery. Ugh, but that's the strawberry bread part. And again, the vanilla bean Noel is, you know, caramel. So, like, you know, that's that's the overpour. And I can catch it. I mean, I can catch the hint. So that's, you know, that's really nice. So that's really cool. Um, I I love strawberry bread, and her strawberry bread bread so far smells absolutely amazing. So I'm going to put these away. Now, pink, this one is the, the pink strawberry bread with vanilla ice cream overpour. Now, the one thing I wanted to say, again, guys, is that with the BSF, what's really hard is these embeds tend to smush and you can see like wax gets on the sides and this is straight from the vendor so if this has gone through a d stash like two or three times like say somebody else got it and they weren't really fond of it or they just had too much and wanted to move it on by the time you receive it it's not going to look like this it's going to be kind of swishy and the bag will probably be very have a lot of the wax on the side. That's normal in D-stashes. So, you know, if you ever get a D-stash from me and it looks like that, that's why. You know, it's not like people are purposely trying to smush your stuff. It just, as you can see, and this came straight from the vendor, and, and look. It just happens with wax. So, you know. So this is the pink strawberry bread. This is the one that I'm not all that crazy about but we're gonna type it in I can see a lot of blends actually that I could make here which is funny I just don't know if I have if I have the patience or what um let me say so pink strawberry bread Okay, so this is also a staple. So this, she must sell a lot of these too. This is a blend of pink sugar type and strawberry bread. So I give, I've already given you the notes on that. Um, so this is just strawberry bread with pink, you know, added, which I'm mostly getting the pink, not the strawberry bread. I do get a bread note, but the pink is kind of overpowering the strawberry. Um, and then vanilla ice cream overpour a lot of these have uh, a lot of these have they have a lavender zucchini vanilla ice cream that sounds very interesting I'm not a big zucchini person, but that sounds, let's see. I'm just looking to see if you can get vanilla ice cream. Oh, yeah, a sweet, sugary vanilla ice cream home churn fragrance. So, like I said, unfortunately with the pink, I'm not getting too much of anything but that. I can catch a little bit of the bread, but I'm hoping when all this stuff cures, I'll be getting a lot more. Um, so if you're big into creating your own scents, guys, BSF is the way to go. I mean, they really are. It's just amazing. I've seen some of the, the creations that people come up with, and it's just insane. And you kind of say to yourself, like, and just go wild with it. 
you know, like just go crazy because, you know, something that you might think sounds really gross, like icky, you'd be really, really, really surprised. That's actually really good. So this is the carnival with the vanilla ice cream overpour. So the vanilla ice cream is just sweet, creamy vanilla. And the carnival is um, funnel cake, cotton candy, and caramel apple. So what's funny to me is when I've smelled carnival from other people. And when I smell carnival, I don't catch... Oh, I can kind of catch it now. I can catch the caramel. Funnel cake, I'm not so sure. I can catch a little bit of the cotton candy. I can catch the caramel. Apple, I don't know if I'm really smelling. But what's funny is when you combine these three and they become carnival, to me it smells like those orange circus peanut candies. That's what it smells like to me, which I love, by the way. So I don't know if I'm getting too much of the, um, what you call it, mm -mm -mm -mm. the vanilla ice cream right now. You know, I can smell vanilla. Ugh, but this is really, really nice. So again, like I said, if you are a, hey, I want to make it myself kind of person, then you just go for it because good for you. <laughs> seriously and, and kudos to you because I really can't do it um, next is vanilla bean Noel with coconut craze over pour so oh god they, they have a lot of good sense here they have a lot of good I'm gonna have to go through and make a list um, they have a lot of good mixes and just on their scent list so this isn't even like what people make up because people make up stuff out of the top of their head like they have clean lavender cotton okay which is like blends of yankee clean cotton dupe and bath and body works lavender vanilla dupe right then they have toffee apple lavender zucchini noel so this is a blend of crunchy apple toffee a blend of toffee, apple crunch, lavender, and vanilla, zucchini bread, and vanilla bean noel. So it's like you could mix, you could say, okay, I want the clean lavender cotton with the toffee, apple, lavender, zucchini noel overpour. And she'll make that for you. <laughs> and it's just crazy. And you might go, ew, like cotton, a cotton scent, and a zucchini scent but you would really really be surprised i'm learning more and more that the more you think to yourself oh my god like no usually the more it's a yes it turns out to be a oh my god so you know the more you frankenstein it and you're just like you know this is what i'm gonna do um the more you know it usually turns out good Okay, so Vanilla Bean Noel, again, I'm going to just remind you, is the, is the vanilla sugar cookie with slight roasted marshmallow and a hint of caramel. Now, mostly I smell like the sugar cookie and the caramel. And then the, oops, hold on, my, my bar went away. Um, and then the, Coconut Craze is the notes of lemon, orange, pineapple, and lime rounded out with middle notes of caramel and coconut, base notes of buttercream, coconut milk, vanilla bean, and musk. So you have marshmallow, all those notes, plus marshmallow, sugar cookie, and caramel. So that is crazy. That's the Vanilla Bean Noel with the Coconut Craze Overpour. And this is, again, this is really nice. When you mix these two, you know what it almost reminds me of is a very nice, which is really weird. Again, I'm going to tell, like I, I'm saying, you mix some of these stuff and it just, see, it's just comes out kind of weird to my nose. 
I'm smelling more of the musk in this one now. So it's like smelling more of like a really nice cologne. Not overpowering, not like, ew, gross, not flowery at all, obviously, but just a really nice cologne. Like, this is a fragrance that I could see myself wearing as far as, like, a body spray or something. These two scents, I could definitely see myself wearing, like, as a body spray. It does smell kind of, not perfumey, more of like a cologne to me. Okay, so next is the Sweet Lolly. And I'm sorry, guys, that I'm, like, typing a lot, but obviously I would never find these if there's just so many combinations that I would never find these if I didn't use my little find button. Okay, so this was the candy. This is just the candy suckers. And like I said, um, so sweet and so strong in parasoy tarts. This, um, again, smelled to me a lot like a grape, a grape sucker. I really like this one. Um, and I received three of those. Oh, my God. Lacey, you did such a great job. Um, this was the Sweet Lolly with the Coconut Craze Overpour. So the, wheat, the Sweet Lolly is described as just the, um, the candy suckers, which I thought smelled like grape. And then, and then you mix it with the notes of the coconut craze, which is the lemon, the orange, pineapple, the lime, caramel, coconut, buttercream, coconut milk, vanilla bean, and musk. So this really tones down the sweet, sweet, sweet of this, just the regular sweet lolly. And this is really nice. I like this a lot. And I can catch the lemon and the orange and the pineapple in this one. I like this. I like this blend. Um, I like it better than this straight up sweet lolly. Um, and I got three of those. And then I got, I have stars all over my couch, you guys. I wish you could see this. And all over myself. It's hysterical. Okay, so this is the strawberry bread and the coconut craze overpour. So the coconut craze is, again, you got your lemon, your orange, your pineapple, your lime, your caramel, your coconut, your coconut milk, your buttercream, your vanilla bean, and your musk. And that's just crazy in itself. Like, hello, I think I'm just going to order that straight up. Actually, no, I'm going to order exotic coconut. I'm just looking at, I, this is, I always do this. You guys know I do this. I look at the lists and I'm going, oh, okay. I got to start making myself a list. But, um, so just that in itself, like how many notes can you put into a chunk of wax? You know, it's so like, that's a ton of notes. So then you add the strawberry bread to it. So you not only have all those notes, you have, oh my God, she has kettle corn and rock candy. Oh my God. I'm sorry. Anyway, so you not only have all those notes, you have strawberry, spice, creamy vanilla, bakery, sweet fruits, um, sweet vanilla. Like, so you have so many different sense. And again, this is the strawberry bread coconut craze overpour. And I love this one. I love this. I cannot wait for everything to cure. I really can't because so far I love everything. I got two of those. Um, this one, like I said, is going to have to have been my least favorite. And this is the strawberry. No, I'm sorry. This was my favorite. The pink, the pink strawberry bread one was my least favorite, but the strawberry rhubarb pie vanilla ice cream overpour was my favorite. And unfortunately I got one. So I'm definitely going to order more Lacey. Absolutely. Um, 
So the vanilla ice cream pour was just, you know, your straight up vanilla creamy ice cream. So strawberry. Oh my lord, I cannot type. Strawberry roux, rhubarb pie. Okay, this wonderful aroma of fresh baked strawberries from the strawberry patch. Sugar, butter, crisp baked sweet pie crust, rhubarb. See, I don't know what rhubarb smells like, guys. If anybody knows what rhubarb smells like, please post it below. And Granny's home cook, cook and love. I don't know. I can definitely smell crust in this, though. And the buttery notes. It's really nice. And then you get the strawberry. And like I said, a little bit of tang, which I think is the, rhub the rhubarb. Like a, a hint of a little bite to it. I like this one. So I will definitely have to be ordering more of this. The strawberry rhubarb pie vanilla ice cream over pour. But there's a lot on the list that I'm going to have to order. And unfortunately, she restocks. I'm going to tell you a little bit about her company now. She is she well she does custom scents so I'm not or custom blends so I'm not gonna say she doesn't do custom blends because she does, um but she mostly okay what she'll do is if you join her group which I'll post it below she has scheduled restock dates and she'll tell you what she's restocking for example right now she says she has some discount or on the 26 she had some discount four count RTS, which is ready to ship tart bags. So if you're interested in those. On the third, she's going to be restocking her bubble bath bars and her bath bombs. So yes, she also does bath and beauty products, guys. Um, on the 24th of August, she's going to be restocking her whipped soaps and whipped sugar scrubs. So she has those also. Um, on the third, she's going to be restocking her cake slices. So she has these beautiful triangular, very large um, slices of cake. Her small whole cake. So she has like a whole a cake, but it's you know it's a smaller one. And her brownie bites, which I think are just little squares. And then um, on the third, she's also going to be restocking some tart samplers, which I'm going to be all down with. And some ready-to-ship four-count tart bags. Um, on the third, she's also... This This is what I'm going to be so... On the third and the 24th of August, she is restocking Whiff Whips, which is a scoopable, and Liquid Candle Cream, which is more of like, you know, you squeeze it, you squeeze it out into your warmer. So I'm all down with that. So she's going to be doing that on the 3rd, and then she's also going to be doing that on the 24th. So it's really good to join the Facebook groups. You, you're kind of up to date on when the stocks are, so, so you're not going to her page and going, why is nothing stocked? You know what I mean? I don't know what, what, what's going on. Nothing's ever stocked, you know? It is stocked, you know? It's just she stocks, she kind of staggers it and stocks stuff like that. So it's really, really super, super, super cool. So... Um, that's what I have to say about that, guys. So, um, comment below, guys. Let me know what you think of my, um, my kind of new layout as far as, you know, quick synopsis, quick cold sniff, yes, I like, no, I don't, yes, I do, no, I don't, kind of thing, and then later in the video going into more detail. So, um, let me know if you would rather see more store information at the beginning, um, or whatever, like, because however I can improve, I always want to. But again, here's her card. There you go. Bol Savon Phrase, Bath, Body, and Home Fragrance. Owner Lacey Williams. There is her website. There we go. Bol Savon Phrase, dot store and dot com. So check them out, guys. Like I said, everything I got was great, Lacey. Amazing. The shipping was insane. I just I just mentioned the other day, not insane, bad, like insane good. I just mentioned the other day, I'm like, I didn't get a click and ship. Like, what's the deal? I got, you know, I, I, you know, I paid the PayPal. I paid with PayPal, and then I got something saying, oh, you know, your order was, 
you know, your PayPal was received and it gave me kind of like a confirmation, but there was no shipping information. And everybody was like, oh, well, she probably hasn't packaged it or shipped it yet. And then it arrives today. I think I asked that question last night. And then it arrives today. So I'm just like, okay. <laughs> you know, that works for me. That was super quick. I'm picking up all these little stars. Let me if you can see these. See? All these little stars are like all over my couch. Oh, my nails are getting in the way. They're so cute. They're all over my couch. Um, so anyway, check them out, guys. BSF. What is it? Bosevon phrase. Bosevon phrase. I hope I'm saying that right. So I love you guys. Again, it looks like a long video, but I hope everybody gets the synopsis at the beginning. Let me know if you know how you'd like to see it. If I can change it around in any way, how you know you'd like to see it improve, that'd be great. Um, I love you guys, and I hope you have a wonderful evening.